Today, we're going to complete subtraction sentences with numbers up to 18. So our first question says, fill in the missing number. What is 7 minus 6? I can draw a picture if I don't automatically know the answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And how much am I subtracting? I'm subtracting 6, so I'm going to take away 6 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What do I have left? Just 1. So 7 minus 6 equals 1. Next, I need to find the missing number to make the sentence true. So I have 7 minus blank equals 7. Well, thanks to fact families, I can figure it out. I can take my 7 and subtract it with this 7. So what is 7 minus 7? 0. So that then means that 7 minus 0 equals 7 because they're a fact family. Next, fill in the missing number again. We have 4 minus blank equals 1. Using what I know about fact families, I'm going to take my 4 and my 1, and I'm going to subtract it. That will give me what I'm missing here. So what is 4 minus 1? 4 and 1 lower is 3. So we can also say that 4 minus 3 equals 1. Next, 9 minus 4. You might be able to look at it and answer it right away. If not, drawing a picture is fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many am I subtracting? I'm subtracting 4. Cross out 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many? do I have left? One, two, three, four, five. I have five left. So nine minus four equals five. Next, one minus zero equals what? Any number minus zero equals that original number. So one minus zero equals one. Next up, 4 minus a number equals 3. So, I can use my fact family to help me. I'm going to take my 4 and subtract 3 from it to find out what goes in this box. We're just rearranging a little bit. 4 minus 3 equals what? It equals 1. So, that also means that 4 minus one equals three. We're using the same numbers, just rearranging them. Okay, let's look at this one. Blank minus nine equals zero. Okay, can I still use my fact families? I can. I'm going to just take these two numbers and subtract them. Can I do it this way? or this way. It has to be 9 minus 0. When you subtract, the greater number has to go first. So 9 minus 0 equals 9. And if we're correct, when we put the 9 here, that should equal 0. Is 9 minus 9 0? Yes, it is. So we have the right answer. 8 minus something equals 8. Let's use our fact family to help us. We're trying to find this number here. So I'm going to take my 8s and I'm going to subtract them. I'm rearranging the numbers to find out what I'm missing. So 8 minus 8 equals what? 0. So if we're correct, if I put 0 in this box, this should make it true. 8 minus 0 equals 8. 
Is that true? It is. Next, 9 minus 0 equals what? If I have 9 and I don't get rid of any, how many do I still have? I still have 9. Good job. Let's try one more. Blank minus 1 equals 8. Okay, so we don't know the first number. Hmm. If I want to find out, if I did 8 minus 1, I would get 7. But if I put 7 here, is 7 minus 1 8? It's not, so that won't work. Hmm. What works with subtraction? The opposite of subtraction is addition. Let's try that out. So what is 8 plus 1? 8 plus 1 equals 9. Let's see if that works. If I put a 9 here, is 9 minus 1 8? It is. So that's our answer. If we're missing the first number in the subtraction problem, we can use addition to find out what's missing. So 9 minus 1 equals 8. Excellent job.